So about that knee injury. <laughs> All right, you just stay there, Willow. You just be good, relax. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I'll just say briefly how I did this knee injury. I was acting. I was going back, you know, you turn 50, and then all of a sudden you're like, all right, what haven't I done yet? What haven't I done yet? What do I need to circle back? I circled back to my elementary school acting, which had brought me such joy. <laughs> and last spring I enrolled in an acting class at the community college. And next thing I knew, I was in a community play. I was doing community theater. And the next thing I know, somebody asked me to be in a little movie. And uh, so I'm in this movie called Meek Lover Creek, and I'm a... I'm the star, and <laughs> I'm a park ranger, and, uh, and I'm out doing my rounds in the park, in Meek Lever Creek Park, and it's late, it's the end of the day, and, and I'm new, I'm fairly new, actually it's my first day on the job, and, uh, and I hear the sound of a man singing, like they don't, those people don't even know my story, and I'm like, how, how does this happen? Like, I hear the sound of a man singing, and then I just traipse off into the, high, into the high weeds, you know? And next thing I know, I come upon this encampment, right? And you're not supposed to camp in Meek Lover Creek Park. That is a big no-no. And so I'm, like, sniffing around in there, checking this stuff out. There's knives. There's a bag. There's somebody's been sleeping there. There's a funny hat made out of skins. And then he walks up. He's like, what do you think you're doing? And I'm like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm really a good actress. And, um, <laughs> and, and so then a conversation ensues. And during the conversation, he ever so casually flicks a knife out from the side, from behind his leg. And, and then I get, uh, you know, and then I'm trying to keep my cool, but I definitely reach for my radio at that point and tell him, I'm going to have to call this in. And so I turn around to call it in, and I start walking away from the singing man, and the singing man grabs me. He grabs me by the arm from behind, and he pulls me around so that I'm facing him, and we're chest to chest. And of course, he's like, you don't have to do this. And I say, get off of me, and I throw him. And the idea is I throw him, and he lands in Meek Lover Creek, where he hits his head on a rock, bleeds out, dies, and I continue on my way. <laughs> Except we were filming this get off of me thing for like the 10th time because it's a one camera shoot because we're low budget like that. And, uh, and they were trying to get the facial expression, right? Because now we need the face. We got the wide, we got the side, and now we need the face. And so we're going in for the get off me. And I throw him and I land on my knee, here it comes, and my knee just scissors out from under me. It just goes boom, boom, and I'm like, ah, and I hit the ground. And I know it's bad because I tore this one in 2010, and so I'm like, oh, no, this is worse, this is worse. And, uh, and, and, and the whole thing is being run by, like, young men and who I know have no idea what to do. They're like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not really not. I'm like, just give me a minute. Didn't cry. I'm just like, <sighs> you know, <laughs> like doing my, this just happened. Okay. My Buddhist practice, like, okay, there's, yes, there's injury here. Mm -hmm, we feel it. We acknowledge it. And, um, and so they hoist me up and they're like, well, this gives us a good time for lunch break. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. No, they're not really that like that, but kind of. And, um, and so we walk in, so they get me up the stairs and into the cabin, and I'm just like kind of hobbling, but I'm like, okay, okay, just relax. I'm hobbling, and I'm talking to Garrett, the other guy, the actor who didn't see what happened, and I'm just telling him, yeah, yeah, I was da 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 and then my knee just goes out from under me again, like without me even doing anything, but just simply walking, and then I realize... I really messed this up. And so I'm like, you're going to drive me to the ER, and you're going to follow in my car, and then you boys are going to come back and finish this movie. And they're like, really? And I'm like, really? <laughs> but let's go now. <laughs> and so, yeah, so, so the ACL is toast. And then I like tore a bunch of ligaments out here, and then I guess if you pull a ligament hard enough, it'll take off a piece of bone. So that happened. And uh, yeah, but you know what's weird is after the injury, it didn't hurt. Didn't really hurt. It was swollen, and it hurt kind of at night when I was sleeping because I had to sleep in this. But um, didn't really hurt. It's just really unstable. So that's my story. I don't have a song about it yet, but I'm sure. <laughs>
Actually, I started one. It, the first line was, it all fell apart like you knew it would. <laughs> and it isn't bad and it isn't good. That's my first two lines of my knee song. So. Oh, I know, I know. When is this movie going to be done? And, and if you're wondering, no, they didn't catch the fall on film, but they did get the facial expression of someone who is popping their ACL. <laughs> I guess it's pretty effective and believable. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm expecting maybe December, because the guy... No, no, it's a short. It's just a short. So it's the kind of thing you'd see in a little film festival. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll be good. The, the nice thing is they, re they rented, like, really good cameras, and, and, one of, and the camera guy actually has won some Boston Emmys for his documentary work, and he's, he's quite good. And um, all of, everyone was talented. And so I, I have faith that they're going to do the best they can with what they got. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was super fun, and I would totally, 10 out of 10, do it again. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. No regrets. It is what it is, right? So um, that's what happened. That's my story. So now we get into the relationship part of our show. <laughs> Jim Henry's favorite. <laughs> How are you doing over there? I'm um, good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm good. Well, now I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Now we don't have to see the movie because you told us the whole thing. No, I didn't tell him everything. I didn't tell him everything. Oh, what else is there? Oh, I, I can't say. <laughs> no spoilers. I can't say. Okay. A festival tent, a wintertime trip, that library tour, his trembling lip. When he fell for me, day our daffodil hour two hearts finally home true love finally ours he will marry me we planned on living light and traveling far currency of laughter Double old guitars. A stormy first year, the whipping is gale, rough waters ahead, a red flag for sale. We're in trouble here. Daffodil stems all bent and torn thin. Their sad yellow mouths cried the bleak, giving in, surrendering. We did not have a language for our pain. I flooded him with pleas and sighs. He didn't say. signs but there's nobody here and the garden's gone dry so those shoes in the hall and that towel on the rack and that frame on the nail I take it all Cause no one can survive on nothing there Came into the long haul and it don't seem fair What to do but pack up and move on In search of
last box in the truck and my cat in her crate so long to this love and my daffodil days bye Thank you. Same relationship. <laughs>